the question how cumulus can contribute to driving high quality outcomes in heat treatment uh, processes, um, I would like to have a look onto the built in simulators of cumulus. For that, uh, Frank will share his screen again and yeah. we can have a look onto the calculation. Yeah, the simulator is very important because uh, if you have a new product, a new material, a new customer, and you're not 100% sure of the results uh, or what the process should be, you can run it in simulation and get a pretty good starting point on what you should, uh, how you should uh, set up your recipe. Now, simulator is part of uh, the Cumulus uh, family and selecting the simulator app. I have a few simulators available to me. So if I can go with, uh, I don't know, carburizing, I, I start off by putting my typical recipe close to what I think is reality. Uh, I have to define my part with a certain material. I put, you know, the the diameter, I put the thickness of it, I put the alloy of it. Well, that's really alloy is in the material side. And basically what I'm doing here is I'm telling it, okay, look, this is the um, this is the recipe I want you to run. And uh, I am now uh, running a simulation. You could see that my temperature is increasing. My um, This is my temperature. Basically, my recipe said heat to X. And this is what's happening as it's heating to X. It's speeding up time, but fundamentally I could see my actual temperature going up. I could see my hardness curves. I could see the diffusion of the uh, carbon in the alloy in the, the, in the profile. Uh, my carbon profile is building up with time. I'm now, as you can see down here, two, two hours out of five in stage four. So I'm, um, I'm building up my carbon. As you can see, my uh, hardness curve would look like this if I pulled out my sample right now. We could see it growing a lot slower now because of, uh, well, just because of diffusion and time is exponential. Um, you see this was here, this little dot is my required, uh, my requirements for required hardness at K-step. So at this K-step, let me show you the axes here. At this one millimeter, I had this carbon and I had this required uh, hardness. And see, I just jumped into step five, step six. So now I'm diffusing hours out of 844. Let's wait the next two hours, which is going to be sped up. We're in already at seven hours. Uh, the hardness is climbing up. As you could see, everything is starting to flatten out in terms of the hardness and 844, bang, we hit it, we're done. So the entire recipe has been simulated in eight hours 44 based on the original recipe that we had simulated. So in theory, if my parameters are correct, if my quench intensity, if my uh, heat up times, my atmosphere is as close to reality as possible in the simulation matches reality, then these are results that you would obtain um from from cumulus so mike i hope this answers your question oh yes uh, so i think this was another good example um how you can ensure your quality especially if you have some new material some new parts which have to be treated and uh, yeah pretty pretty good thanks frank thank you